Hey everybody, this is Woolworth Guy here today, and that's right, day number four of our Helmets of the Month. Today we're looking at another Adrian helmet, and this is the Belgian variant of the Adrian helmet. Now during World War I, obviously no armies had a steel helmet until around 1915 when the French developed their own. Uh, the Belgians being basically kicked out of their country and not having many resources or opportunities to develop too much of their own style of material, they chose to adopt the French Adrian helmet because it was easier for them to acquire. They just had to change the color and the badge. So as we remember from the French Adrian helmet, they had their Horizon Blue helmet. The Belgians, they opted for the sort of khaki color that the British Army used. So their helmets also switched to a khaki, khaki brown color, or I guess a mustard brown color, I should say. On the front here, you can see the Belgians have one badge for all helmets, whether you're artillery, infantry, and so on, which was a lion. Uh, this is pretty flat. You can see, as we will see with one of the other helmets, after World War One, they updated their badge. Now, this particular helmet was not made during World War One. This is actually a Belgian-made Adrian helmet that was made in the 1920s. It's going to be very, very hard to see, but as you can see right there, the markings say Fonson Bruxelles. And so this was a company that started making helmets in the 1920s. So this is a 1920s helmet, but as a visual, this is basically identical to the World War I variants. On the inside, you have a later pattern liner. This one it is in two pieces, so you have the liner band and then the tongues are attached separately. As well as the tongues, you only have six tongues versus the early pattern French seven tongues. On the side here, you still have the corrugated, corrugated metal. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, that'll also help for the shock, you know, kind of displace the shock rather than hitting directly your head. And then the chin strap is the same chin strap as the French, very thin leather chin strap. And as we remember from the French M15 helmets during World War I, they were made of four pieces, while the Belgians in the 1920s started making their Adrian helmets in three pieces. So you still had the main dome, the cone, but now the visors were one single piece. So the front and back were one single piece rather than being two pieces attached together. All right, and these helmets, as well as the French helmets, or in the French army, uh, the M15s and I guess M20s, if you want to say, uh, were used throughout World War II as well as the Belgian military didn't produce enough of their newer helmets to get out to the soldiers. So a lot of old stock was was issued and with that being said that concludes the video i hope you enjoyed if you did drop a like write a comment share and subscribe but besides that you guys have a great day